Alrighty there, it's 334 years in the future and we have some interesting developments. Uh, the Ilkhanate pretty much became the Ottoman Empire. Francia is uh, supplanted the HRE as the most powerful uh, people in Europe. Have some mega states out east in India and it looks like, uh, as usual, the Mongols have come through like a wrecking ball and really changed the face of this map. But we're not here to talk about that. We're here to mostly talk about the fact that there were immortals in this game. Let's see how many of our 50 immortals made it out of this. Looks like we have about four. Um, that might be because we have harm events on dangerous. So people are more likely to get just absolutely uh, destroyed. Uh, it's wild that out of the, after 50, there's only four that are left uh, and they're all incapable. Unfortunately for me, I've realized too late that it's uh, hard to track a person in this game unless they are of a household. I have a list here of all the people who were of family origin. Let's us jump to that right now. So the next one on the list is the Benin family. Oh, this is, this is looking good. This is looking good. Uh, we have the Benin family. Uh, I feel like this is one of our immortals, but I could be wrong. I could be very wrong. Oh, yep. Looks like we did have one of our immortals. Uh, Yorubaland uh, was created by Or Ormian. Um, he lived to be the ripe old age of 327. He was incapable. He died under mysterious circumstances. So that seems to be the, the main thing we've learned is that uh, when danger is hide, uh, just because you're immortal doesn't mean you won't be incapable uh, at some point. So that's great. So at least one out of the 50 we can confirm has been landed. Unfortunately, like I said, that oversight on my eye side of not realizing that I couldn't search for the dead um, in the search bar, which is unfortunate faith. Uh, first and foremost, it looks like once again, uh, the Mongols have taken a turn that I wouldn't have expected in making Orthodox and uh, the second most prolific religion. Usually it's Ashari, but uh, as usual, for some reason, they have decided to do this thing where they uh, believe that, hey, you know what would be great? We become Christians. Most of the Mongols until the third Khan decided, uh, yeah, you know what I need to be? Orthodox. Uh, because that's how this situation is going to work. And then after that, it looks like it finally blew up. Culture, see what we can see. Some Greco-Mongol, you love to see it. How much Mongol do you think exists outside of uh, where it shouldn't? Uh, I don't see it too heavily. Well, okay, so they did exist. Um, it's just interesting to see how how much stronger the Mongols are now. Uh, finally becoming the true boogeyman of this game that they were meant to be all along. Uh, the Emperor Air map mode, just to see what of the Mongol states have done with it. Uh, looks like White Horde was formed, uh, the Golden Horde, of course, uh, Ilkhanate, uh, the Tungst Khanate uh, was made for like two seconds, it looks like, and uh, that's about it, maybe up here a little bit. Um, the Arulud Khanate, uh, I don't remember that one. That's new to me. That's definitely new to me. Uh, I don't think that I've seen that one before. Government types, uh, a lot more feudal just because they became Catholic uh, instead of, or Orthodox instead of clan. So usually this is all clan, uh, but now it's a lot more feudal, which is interesting to see. And we're seeing, is that an actual true Republic down here? Oh, wow. I feel like we're starting to see that a little bit more, whereas a real Republic uh, kingdom or uh, duchy, or whatever being actually able to hold their own for a little bit longer and i'm not sure if that's just due to the fact that they're able to get more cash through these new events um but because like if you pop into them are they able to do yeah yeah they're, they're able to do this but they don't have royal courts um they will never have royal courts until uh, an update allows them so maybe that's why they're able to maintain their holdings better because they're able to uh keep their vassals in uh, check. I think the main takeaway from this one is that we 
have to have a better way of tracking the immortals that would have been nice to see um, more because I don't think we I think a lot more had become landed out of the 50 uh, that they would have probably gained more lands because some of them were knights for sure that the Mongols you know finally coming into their own being absolutely a menace to the AI and actually uh, being a kind of revolutionary when it comes to changing the map completely kind of a whole reset which is kind of kind of what they did in this area but now that the fact that they're going all the way to the hre and popping that is just just delicious you love to see it happen but it would just be such an interesting lore to have oh yeah i just live at this court and there's this woman who's been living for 379 years she's got the cancer she's incapable she's kind of depressed but she's still living and she might outlive all of us uh which is crazy to say um but yeah I think that's all I have for you for now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little time lapse. If you did, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And as always, have a good rest of your day. Ciao.